Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd try something a little different this week and do a more casual video. So here we go. Uh, last week we made this thing, which is a rest for the uh, chain stays. And really, uh, I kind of don't really need this, but what I really wanted it for is to hold this thing. And so this is uh, my tire diameter, and I use this as a reference so that I can make sure when I'm tacking these chain stays that I'm not too close to the tire. This isn't actually going to hold this. It's, it's going to rest on here, and what I want to do is make uh, like an arm, almost like a fork that connects here, and there's a bar, and then it'll sit. This will sit on the bar like this. And the reason I want to do that is um, I want to be able to rotate it up and then when I get up here, I can use this as reference for my chain stays also. Okay, this is a quick drawing I came up with and originally I was going to machine this whole thing and I decided not to do that because um, I don't want to spend that much time on this and I think just using steel and welding things will work just fine. So I came up with this and uh, it's got like a bar and then it kind of tees off and this side is like folded or bent up and I have like a little V here so like the axle will sit through here like that. So like that's that axle you saw and um, on this side I have like a little slider uh, a screw will hold it here so I can slide this kind of in and out like that um, because I'm going to want this to fit uh, 135 millimeter axle and as small as a 100 millimeter axle and uh, then I have this side this thing here which is another slider and right here this is uh, a screw sticking up here and this will like loop into here and I'll be able to slide this thing back and forth and here is where the uh, my tire um, reference will go. This will be my axle line and actually this is the uh, axle not the axle line and I'm gonna come out 100 and put my center line here and let's see the bottom bracket sits just about 340 the edge of the bottom bracket the edge of the tire comes out right around 255. So 255. Okay, I got this thing sticking out, so I need to make room for that. I think 40, 40 mil. For the bar running down the center, we'll do a 30 millimeter wide bar. Hmm, I wonder if this is too wide. Yeah, I think it's too wide. We measure from here to here we're at 135 and that's our largest axle width 
So this tab, I'm going to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to come out to here with that tab. I'm going to cut these out as separate tabs and I'm going to weld these onto the, uh, this part. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna guess. I'm just gonna land this cut somewhere in the middle. 140. And now for this part. Um, rather than draw on top of this and make a mess like I did over here, I'm gonna actually draw, draw it up here. Okay, so the furthest this is going to slide back and forth is from here to here. And so I'm gonna put this right here. And there's our bolt. Well, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just kinda eyeing it like this. So I think this looks uh, pretty good. Yeah, let me check this one last time. If I have this here and my screw is right about there. Okay, that's good. Okay, here we go. So, we have, um, so this thing here, that's this tab. I'm gonna make two of those. This is going to be welded to here. And then uh, we have this L, this L-shaped bracket. And then we have this, uh, the extension bracket, which the, the wheel thing, where is that? This thing gets uh, bolted on there. And so that, it'll be kind of like this and that will go on here and it'll like slide back and forth. And also you'll notice this only slides in and out one way and not here. So this will also be able to do this so that I can uh, get it centered. All right, now we're gonna grab some metal and I got some stashed away back here. I think this will be all right. Here we are, we got this piece here. We've got our L piece. We have the, uh, the straight piece here. So it goes like that. And we've got two of these things. So I need to 
put an angle cut on these. Mm, I'm just gonna eye it. And now we need to uh, cut these slots into here and on this. Okay, we are really close. So um, this goes here and uh, this nut I'm gonna weld on the other side. Gotta make sure it's on that side, actually. This, this side, gonna weld it on that side. I could have tapped this hole, but I didn't because the steel is too thin. So I'm gonna weld these nuts on there. And uh, yeah, let's weld this. All right, let's put this thing together. Let's see. Let's... All right, let's try this out. No. All right, so after <laughs> all that planning, um, I didn't take into account the chain stays doing this. And so these are, uh, let's see. So I gotta um, push this in so I have clearance. Oh, it just barely has clearance. Yeah, oh, this is bad. Wait, yeah. Uh, I'm going to need to bend these out. All right, let's try this again. This in here. All right. Okay, so I made uh, a few adjustments and now it, it fits in there perfectly. And I can rotate it up and get my uh, diameter, tire diameter checks for the seat stays. So uh, what I did was I shortened this guy so that I could squeeze it in more. And I also bent these tabs out and then the other thing I did is, I don't know if you can see it, but you'll notice these, these inner forks, I bent them in a little because what they were doing is they were uh, grabbing and hanging onto the inside of the dropout. And I didn't want that. I wanted it so that when it's in here, it's, uh, there's only one, one fork touching the inside of the dropout. And so that's how it registers its position and stays in the center um, before it was uh, the bottom was touching and then when it came up here then the top was touching and that wasn't good so I think I'm gonna paint this
Okay guys, here it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.